If you're not excited about waking up in the morning, if you're sitting around bored out of your mind, if you got time to do everything anybody asks you to do, if when you tell your dreams to all your friends, it makes sense to them, you got your lid on, man. Your dreams should not make sense to everybody. You got to say something that make people go, how are you going to do that? That's when you got the lid off. But like I always say, life is 10% what happens to you. It's 90% what you do about it. The first step is getting completely and brutally honest enough to say, I am tired of myself. When you say I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired, that's the facilitator of change. That's when you're ready to say these words, no more excuses. No more excuses. Be clear in your mind in what you intend to achieve. Know what you are going to do. That doesn't seem like too much to ask. Certainly in war and you wouldn't think it would be too much for people to ask in their lives either. Their precious lives, as precious as these 58,000 that died in Vietnam. Heroes. But how often do we see people going through their lives without knowing what they are trying to do, without having any intent, without having a clear mission? I'm talking on an individual level, as a person. People go through their lives without knowing what it is they want to do, what they want to accomplish. So know what your mission is. Know what your intent. As the commander of your life, know what your intent is and then fight with everything you've got to win. But the reason I'm here is I dream big dreams. I dream the kind of dreams that other people said would not be possible. I'm also living proof. This isn't a Hollywood movie. I come literally from the other side of the track. If you saw where I grew up, and we took a picture of it, the neighborhood, the setting, you say it's not, it's impossible that someone could come from there and get here. But it is possible. And not to sound too trite, it's possible because we still live in a country where the entrepreneurial spirit is so alive and so well. And anyone in this country, if you dream big and surround yourself with great people and leave your ego at the door and share success with others and have a little luck along the way, you can do anything. But there will be people along the way, and I remember this, who will say to you, you know, you're dreaming too big. It's not possible. Those things just can't happen. Don't allow anyone, friend, family, acquaintance, teachers, whoever it is, don't allow anyone to tell you that what you are dreaming for yourself and your family is not possible. It is possible. Don't be one of those people 20 years from now are going to be walking around in a nine to five job, miserable and angry and bitter because you let your dreams get away from you because you did not believe strongly enough in yourself and what was possible. Don't allow that to happen. This is an unbelievable time and I, I can't encourage you enough to continue to think that things are possible and that your dreams can come true. The only reason you keep seeing there isn't is you feel so exhausted about where you are. But life, the universe, or God is just testing you because there is another level. There's a level where all your dreams are realized. There's a level that you've always dreamed about. It is real. It has not gone away. But it takes that extra burst when you think there's nothing left. There's no way. You've tried everything 10 million times and you keep going. It's almost like God is saying, if you keep hitting this wall enough times, I will see that you will not stop, that you will fill with that level of determination, faith, and courage, and then the door opens and you get to that next level. But what most people don't know is the next level is just two millimeters above. And it's called 
outstanding, ladies and gentlemen, outstanding. <laughs>